Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Adamio, and today we're going to talk about patterns for multiplication facts. We're going to be using multiples for multiplication. Students should be able to learn and identify by explaining their arithmetic patterns using these multiples and how they relate to multiplication. So let's get started. So let's look at multiples as patterns. What are multiples? Multiples can be explained as a product of two whole numbers. But for you as a student, your understanding is skip counting by a group of, specific, of a specific number starting at zero. So for example, here are the multiples of 10. We have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, blank, 60. But what we notice here is that for every group, we're adding 10 more from one group to the next group. So what does that mean? So starting at 0, we have 0 groups of 10. No groups of 10 have been added. Once we add a group, of 10, we have 10 as our multiple. If we add another group of 10, now we have two groups of 10, which means we have 2 times 10, which is our multiple or product is 20. If we were to add another group of 10, that would mean we'd have three groups of 10, and that's represented or shown by the multiplication sentence as 3 times 10 equals 30, which is our next multiple in our pattern. And finally, if we look at our and add another group of 10, now we have 40. And that tells us that now we have 40 groups of four groups of 10. And four groups of 10 or four times 10 is equal to 40. So if we were to continue this pattern, we would add another group of 10 and that would mean that we'd have our fifth group of 10, which would give us 50 in the pattern. And the same for 60. Six groups of 10 would give us 60. So what are the multiples? In this specific example, we have a group of rabbits. And there are three rabbits in each group. So we could say that we're going to have multiples of three and each cage will represent a multiple or another group of three being added. So we have one group of three, which would be one times three. And so we'd have three being added from the zero. We'd add another group of three. Now, once we add that second group of three, we have six. We have a third group of three, which our multiple would be nine. Our next group of three would give us a total of 12. And if we continue to add our groups of three, we would finally end up by the seventh group of three, we would have 21. By just continuing the pattern, we know that Seven groups with three in each group will give us our 21. And 21 is our multiple or product for seven times three. What are the multiples? So in this case, we have a multiple of five. So multiples of five for each group will represent a multiple or a product or another group of five being added from the last or to the last. So we're gonna have multiples of five for each group of lollipops. So if we have five, we added that to zero and now we have one group of five. If we add another group of five, now we have two groups of five, which is 10. So two times five equals 10. Another group of five would be three groups of five, and now we have 15. We add another group of five, 
Now we have 20, and that's four times five, or four groups of five. And if we wanted to know our final product or multiple, we would have another group of five, and we added that to 20 to make 25. So if we relate this to multiplication, we have five groups of five and five in each group. So that would give us 25 as our total or our multiple of five times five equals 25. So you can see here that when we're counting by fives, we're skip counting by a specific number of groups. And we will continue to work with these in our lesson for today. So now we're going to look at patterns for facts. Make sure you have your Envision hardback book, which is going to be on page 126 and 127. So now let's take a look at the Envision hardback book lesson 5-4. You are going to be in your hardback book on page 126 and 127. Your assignment will be today to do the questions 1 through 11. So if you notice that your first four problems have to do with skip counting your multiples of a specific number, and you're going to complete the pattern of what comes next. In, one, in 5 through 8, you're going to find the product and in 9, 10, and 11, you're going to show what you understand about multiples. You will notice that in number 9, it says to use the chart above, and it asks you to look for what pattern you see for the numbers that have both red circles and green circles. So, if you think about your circles were multiples of 2, and your green squares were multiples of five. So what pattern do you notice? What numbers do you see that are multiples of two and multiples of five? What do you notice about those? On number 10, it says look for patterns. Why is 63 not a multiple of two? and explain using the pattern for multiples of two. So make sure to write, rewrite part of your question into your answer, which would be 63 is not a multiple of two because, or 63, so you would answer that and then make sure that you explain why it's not a multiple of two. Leah has nine pairs of socks how many pairs of socks does she have in all? So remember, rewrite part of your question into your answer. Leah has blank socks in all because if, and then think about what is a pair. You are also going to do questions 13 through 35. However, I would like for you to do the odd numbers. So that means that you will do 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. Then if you go to the next page, that would continue with number 31. So if you look at number 31, this is not a multiple choice question. It's a two-part question. So for number 31, it says, how many arms do nine starfish have? Now you're going to think about patterns. So think about how many arms does the starfish have for A, and how many arms does starfish B have? And think about each one of those as, a, as nine groups of those types of starfish. So for example, if each starfish had six arms, 
How many arms would you have if there were nine starfish? For B, same thing. If the starfish had seven arms, how many arms would nine starfish have? And think about using your understanding of patterns. So think about multiples of six for 31A. And for 31B, think about multiples of seven. For 33, it says Jody is working on her model train. She adds nine pieces of track. Each piece of track is attached with four screws. How many screws does she need in all? So again, every piece of track is going to need nine screws to attach it. So th again, think about your multiples of four because we're using four screws for each piece of track. And there are nine tracks. And for 35, use the digits three, four, and six to make as many three digit numbers as you can. Then put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So this is a two step problem you're going to use the numbers three, four, and six to make or create three digit numbers. So for example, I could use the three, four, and six to make the number 436. Then I could also use those same three digits and move those digits around in their place values to create another number, maybe 643. Once you have created as many numbers as you can, then you're going to take those numbers and put them in order from the smallest, which is the least, to the greatest. That will be your assignment for today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put a message in Schoology. Thank you and... Have a great day.